Bye. The Norwegian Gamer. Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian Gamer. And in this mission of Alpha Protocol, I'm actually going to infiltrate and start... Uh, uh, I'm going to bug a place which is a listening outpost of the CIA. So right here I cut the power to some electrical stuff, I guess. <laughs> so um, that lures one of the guards down. And my handler on this mission is someone called Lina Ming, I believe. And uh, she doesn't approve of me actually killing these CIA agents. So what I'm doing in this mission is actually taking them out by just the knocking them out. So as you can see, I'm not using my favorite weapon, the curved blade, which I often put through people's necks. But I am... I am instead using my bare hands and just punching people to their sleep. So right here I'm waiting for this guy on the ledge right, uh, right in front of me, this guy right here, uh, to make his move. Seems like he doesn't want to move at all, so um, I end up deciding just to go forward and turns out that's the trigger to make him move. <laughs> so he moves along and I move up to take him out. Now I'm checking this guy above me all the time, here you can actually see shadow for some reason. Um, to, I'm checking this guy above me because I don't want him to see me, see me taking this guy out. So as he moves up on me, I punch him in the neck and make him uh, faint, I guess. So right here I'm just checking the room and uh, as you can see I have all the arrows of the enemies that are nearby so I don't have to worry about enemies in the next room or anything. I am only checking around in the room to see if there is any pickups that I can uh, pick up, I guess. <laughs> right here I am actually deactivating a camera that's on the third floor, I believe. And uh, that's going to make, make it a lot easier for me to move up to the next floor and take up the next guard. So right here I, uh, I pick up some more ammo and uh, I uh, install this back door which is going to allow my handler Lina Ming to get some more information from this uh, Access uh, CIA database. database that they have so. and uh, All right. and uh, it's also going to give me a buttload of uh, XP. <laughs> just for um, stealing all that information. So you could see the camera up on the wall to the right there, but it doesn't matter because I've uh, disabled it by hacking the computer one story below. So right here, this I don't didn't think that this guy would turn, but I um, have the evasion ability, which makes me invisible for two seconds when someone's about to spot me. So I end up being able to take him out regardless of him turning or not. Pick up some more money right here, sixty-five thousand k or sixty-five hundred dollars or six and a half k, whatever you prefer. And I hack this computer right here. And uh, once again, you see me struggling with f actually finding the sequences, and uh, I end up actually getting that one right before it resets or is uh, replaced. So right there, I read some emails. I cut those out again because. Well, quite frankly, it's not interesting for you guys to see me Control reading some emails. Inside. I could, of course, read them to you, but, uh, meh. So, right here, uh, my handler is telling me that I can't get into this uh, room without making them unlock the doors from the inside. So, my character, Mike Thornton, says, well, I'll find a way. So I'm just thinking, oh, a loud explosion would probably lure them out, which uh, really actually does lure most people out in this game. But it turns out that these guys don't care about that. I uh, sit by the door waiting for them to open it and nothing happens. So right now I'm starting to wonder what kind of a tactic I'm supposed to use if um, explosives don't work, they usually do. <laughs> Then I realized that there's a objective over here, 
looks like an air conditioner. Which duct. is, of course, the air duct. Now, <laughs> of course, my character says, well, an air duct, hmm, a bit small to crawl through. Uh, which is, of course, uh, a reference to almost every action movie where there's a, where the main character is crawling through some air duct. So this guy opens the door and I take him out quite easily and his friend starts uh, going out to this corridor and starts patrolling right here. So I'm just like... Uh, well here I'm wondering whether or not to actually chase him down and take him out or just leave him be. And uh, as I see him rounding the corner over there and now I'm starting to realize that he's probably not going to be trouble in um, well, for a while at least. So I end up going into the locked room, or the room that was locked, and uh, right here I'm just checking on him, seeing that he's still over there. He is, and I start hacking their computer, which will uh, make 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 me able to actually bug their system and uh, make it make me able to. Uh, uh, no, I actually downloaded some intel from their database, I guess. So right here, I thought that he would enter the room again, you know, go back to his post. But apparently he has decided to patrol this uh, hallway. So after a little while, he turns around again. Right here he turns around and starts uh, going back to where he was earlier. So I go back here and read their mail, actually, while he's away. So, after reading their mail, I decide that I'm going to uh, take this guard out. I'm now sneaking back out, I'm going down to the first floor and actually uh, ex exiting through their front door, really, ironically enough. So, since I can't kill these guys and since I don't have any tranquilizer rounds with me for my pistol, I just wait around this corner for him to pass uh, pass by me and uh, and uh, making me able to take him out pretty easily. So as you can see, he's walking closer. I take him out by punching him in the neck, which uh, <laughs> apparently is so hurtful that he just passes out. So when I get down here, I wasn't really expecting someone to come. So when I see the door open and that arrow, I was kind of scared and going like, whoa, 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 what's happening now? Are there coming more people or is it just you? So as it turns out, it's um, it's just this one guy and um, <laughs> I'm a bit uncertain how to approach him. So I end up just going along this railing right here, which actually gives, gives me cover and uh, keeps me hidden. I punch him in the neck and make him pass out and then just exit through the front door. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Snackis. <laughs>